tank so far. Essentially, the entire basic hull is completed. The electronics are completed. Um, the thing I was talking about by taking out the windows and putting putting in some uh, PVA glue worked beautifully, fantastically actually, better than I'd planned. Um, didn't actually use any of the crystal clear, micro crystal clear that I normally use. I just thought the openings were going to be a little bit too big for that to deal with. So I ended up using that product, Well Bond. Um, I believe it's made in Canada. Made in Canada, yes, by Fabric. Um, really good stuff, very, very good stuff. So I still may yet put another, um, another coating over those. I'll get a close-up photograph of those and show you that. <coughs> the decals are all applied um, after the initial coat of um, paint. And I used Future, or over here we call it Pledge, floor polish through the airbrush and just glossed over where the decals are going to go. Um, then I used some Microsol to set the decals down a bit better. Played with the decals to give them a bit of wear and tear and just age them a little bit. They'll eventually be weathered over with the rest of the model. Um, and then to help blend, help blend in where I glossed, I then overshot the whole model with Future again, including the uh, the, dr the drive bogies and the wheels, the um, the runners and the rest of the tank as well. It also helps protect the paint from handling. Um, so what I plan to start next will be weathering the model down. Um, one additional thing I did to the model apart from putting the windows in, I also made the captain's hatch pre-moving. Simply just drilled it out, put a um, 1 16th brass shaft in there so that I can either have it with or without the figure, depending on how I can uh, paint the figure. And also, that's where the switch is inside there. Uh, I'll fix those up inside with some a coat of grey paint to uh, do so, quite happy with how it's going so far, as I have been with every stage. A couple of little glitches, um, the little damages that I put in, not really sure that the camera will pick them up, just some indentations, brick painted over, just to provide a little bit of extra texture to the hull. Um, I may yet paint those out in a metallic and then um, rust them in a little bit. I based this tank on a tank from the Pacific Theatre, 711 Independent Tank Battalion in the Pacific uh, from the 10th Army during the spring of 45. Um, next will be the weathering, so I'm going to do a bit more research on the weathering, how a tank should look weathered, um, mud splashes um, through the tyres, the runners, um, over the track, splashed up over the hull. Um, splashed up over the front of the hole and mud splatter from the track. Various methods for that, toothbrush, wet paint, pastels um, will generally be the way to go. But before I can do any of that, this um, clear overcoating of future is going to have to be dull coated. The, uh, the, weather, the weathering pastels I use, uh, or soft artist pastels, don't work too well with a gloss finish. You don't get the adhesion and they tend to um, slide off. Fire. 